What's up, peeps? How's it going? It's time for us to uh, time for us to continue the journey, the journey that is uh, moving toward. I guess you could call it chess mastery. Either that or the the slow descent into madness, depending on how you're looking at it. Right? Isn't every chess master on a slow descent to madness in a weird way? Actually, not in a weird way, in a very obvious way. Uh, all right, I'm playing this sort of uh, solid, reversed, Tory London kind of system here. Um, not as not as effective as you'd want it to be against a Fianchetto type setup, and that's what he played. Um, this uh, this whole idea that he started with with the King's Indian attack, but. It's not the worst thing either. Black skulls are a little bit different than whites, right? A little bit less ambitious. I'm trying to be solid here. If he gives me the opportunity next, I might even play c4, which would be... Okay, this is a little bit awkward, but honestly, c4 followed by b5, this is not normally possible when you extend the center like that to really be able to back it up with support. So now you look at this closed position, and I feel super good about my chances here. I might even be looking to sack something on g3. Yeah, he anticipates that that might be an idea. And he's not interested. He swipes left on that thing, right? Hashtag not interested. Um, but now, now there's lots of interesting options, including g5. I guess I'm going to just bring the other knight to f6 first and foremost. Um, and now maybe g5. I want to open up play. Uh, that was actually a little bit, a little bit irritating. Wasn't totally anticipating that he might be just letting me get what I want, just open the G file. But okay, now he's going to play a four himself, right? So we'll we'll bring we'll bring this guy back to E4, bluff at the idea of sacrificing on G2. Right now, what we're really threatening is just to just to play knight takes f2 yeah so he goes there now the question is do i want if i take he takes queen g8 check is that not lights out that's an attack right there boys and girls that's a real strong attack and i don't know that he can stop it even if he takes the knight i'm getting h3 with check and then the other rook comes over so this seems super risky for him right now now he gets to bring his queen over, huh? That's kind of irritating. If I take a three with check, he takes, I take, queen g2. No point doing that. Might as well take here first, queen h2. Bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes. I guess we'll do that. We'll take, he'll play queen h2. We'll play bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes. Then we're going to win um, the knight on e4 back. So position where I'm down the exchange, but with a whole lot of pawns, right? So I'm going to go for this, and then I'm going to go establish this knight on e4. Not exactly what I was hoping for when I sacrificed the, for the attack. That's the honest truth. Anything else, I would be lying. But probably not the worst thing that could have happened from that position either. He really has no counterplay. I mean, everything he's doing right now is a bluff, because if rook g1, I'm just going to play knight to g5 check. Or am I just going to go win? I don't know. I'll just play check before I take on c3. Take. He should have played king f4 for sure. Oh, no. Then I would have played knight h3 check and won the exchange. Yeah, so he was, he was already having trouble. I guess we'll go get the pawn. Seems to make sense. Go do it. Pawn is a pawn. So now the issue is I've given him I've given him this open B file, right? So he's gonna try to trade rooks and and use that B file. It's gonna be slightly less than ideal for me. That's the scientific term. Slightly less than ideal. But even with that pawn, still looks 
see if he wants to give me c3. I doubt it. Aha, he does. So we'll go for it. And we'll come back, threatening to push again. Pushing a new pawn. Oh, why didn't I... Check there, knight there, king up, h3, rook down, h2. I just missed a win. I should have just played c2 because I had check and knight c4. I missed it, but okay. It's not over yet. Oh, he gives me that, but now I have this check and knight back. It's a win. It's a win that we're going to take home as we work our way up the ladder. Don't forget about our goal here, boys and girls. That's 2,600. Oh, hashtag. Got to be strong. CrossFit strong. Right, you get it. Every game I lose, I have to do 10 burpees in my head. Nobody ever actually does burpees by choice, so I just mentally do 10 burpees. So just don't worry. I'm putting in an A for effort. All you crazy CrossFit fanatics. Put in the A for effort. Played this way before. Positionally very much alike as the Korean side, yeah? A positionally. Positional chess. We'll play Bishop of Four here in a second. As soon as he lets us, or will we play Knight C5 now? Or Knight A5 even. Ooh. Now that's a nice move. That's got to be irritating, right? Who said Knights on the Rim were grim? Their chances were very slim. Nobody. I just went to Kembe Matumbo on that thing. I just said, no thank you, sir. No thank you. I said knights on the rim were grim? Come on. Come on. We all know I haven't said anything worth listening to since 1975. Okay, we're going to keep... We're going to keep on keeping on when it comes to going after Black's weak queenside pawns. Maybe I'm threatening knight c6 now. Maybe I was. Uh oh. Hmm. Did I just lose my own rook? That doesn't seem like it was a very smart thing for me to do. Well, my advantage disappeared with that, but at least I had a combination to to save the day, sort of. Right, let's bring this bishop into e5. That seems like a very, ooh, it definitely seems like a wise decision. We would have loved to have just played rookie seven last move, right? Would have been lights out on the spot. Domination of the dark squares. Looks like I'm going to get my rook to e7 anyway. The old-fashioned way, as they say. The old-fashioned way. 
Old Scruffy Jim. I remember Scruffy Jim when he was a snot-nosed teenager. Is, is this guy kidding? Um, sign me up for this action. Let's check mate on F8. Booyah. Let's keep it up. If he wants more, we want the whole thing. If he wants more, I want the whole thing right now. Let's do it. All the enchiladas. Even the kind with the green sauce that nobody really likes, but they all pretend they like. You get it. I'm not saying I have anything against chili verde sauce, okay? I'm just saying that if I wanted something to look like booger sauce on it, you know, I'd just wipe my boogers on everything. That's weird, right? It happened. Hashtag getting some. I'm going to play f5 and rock rock the king side with my bishop here attack. Oh, yes. Oh, man, that feels so good. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, and he's going to let me undouble the pawns? Sign me up. Should I take h3 or play knight h4? If knight h4 takes, takes, he gets f3, but then I get queen g5. Feels like he can't really hold that, right? I mean... Oh, no. No, he didn't. Oh, no, he didn't. Rook lift? I guess I should get more pawns in the game. Because why not, right? Let's just go for this. All in. I'm really making this game unnecessarily risky. Had a completely dominant positional attack, and then I decided to go all in like Flynn. Still not a huge fan of my opponent's position, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't think this is that great for white. I guess we just got to go for this, right? We're threatening bishop g4. That traps the queen. Okay, so we can do it now, right? Bishop g4, and if he takes on d6, we just take his queen. Go up a rook. Another one bites the dust. Bam, bam, bam. Another one bites the dust. And another one does. And another one does. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Bam, bam, bam. Another one bites the dust, and another one does, and another one, you get it, I mean, I never said I could dance. Alright. Home skillet isn't ready to throw in the tail yet. I get it, I've been in denial of my feelings for a long time too. You know, I can relate. You know, we know his true feelings are to throw in the towel here. There he goes. He wants more. Well, so do we. Great minds think alike. All right. So let's see. Dragon. Let's play a Yugoslav attack. The way it was meant to be played. Rekarovka. Delina Rekarovka. Right. I'm going to take it. Nice. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Wallabies running about. Anytime the knights are going to go tango in the center, you know you're in for a fight, right? Right in the outback. He doesn't seem to know his theory. He started out like he knew his theory. Uh, what is What is going on here? He already played it so bad that I've already messed up. Wait, he wasn't supposed to play... That's right, he wasn't supposed to... He's supposed to just play bishop e6 without rook e8. And then g4 and h4 is a thing. But now... Now what is going on here? I'm already getting a little more nervous. I'm going to go for this. 
strange as that may seem. Ooh. He's just going to give me the bishop. Don't mind if I do, I guess. We're going to try to just positionally bind it. Still not, not thrilled with how I handled his bad move. Oh, again, I faced this before just recently in another video. If you play rookie 8 before bishop e6, I'm just supposed to take on d5 and just win everything on the spot. But instead, we are in for quite the battle. If you want to see the position I'm talking about, I'm talking about here. When he played rookie 8, I'm just supposed to just take the knight, just win a pawn. All right, rook b8. So now, now the game is on. Uh-oh. Yeah, I just saw that. He just wins. He wins the exchange. That's frustrating. Because if I played king b1, he would have won the piece. All right, well, I've blown this one. We'll see if I can recover. Hold a draw, right? Sometimes you have a bad game when you play like an idiot. And if you can hold a draw, mm -hmm, just maybe there's a chance for you. Doesn't look like I'm going to hold a draw here, huh? Does not look like I'm going to hold a draw. I don't know. I guess I'll go down the queen just because. Make him beat me. For kicks and gigs. It is blitz after all. Let's try to go get a pass pawn. Remember, nobody ever said we weren't completely lost here. Oh. Oh, what's he doing? I don't even know. He could have just won my piece. But he didn't, so we'll push. Play a few more moves. He's not very good, is he? <laughs> this is like, this is like the worst ever, right? I mean, I'm gonna resign just because I, I don't, you know, I'm worried what might happen if I keep playing, you know. But there goes some rating points. That's frustrating. All right, well, that was a bad one, but we'll recover. Get a few more good ones in here. We'll rinse and repeat this one all day, right? That felt good on our scalp. That was some shampoo. You know the kind that really makes all your follicles come to life. That was a that was a rinse and repeat effort right there. Okay, yes, please. Oh, my F five move in it right in it ain't right in it. D5 is interesting. C4 is interesting. What's best? I guess we'll go here. And we'll take it. Surprising myself with my own decisions. Almost mouse slipped that. Hmm. I'm playing badly. I am playing badly. Kind of be ready for the coming disaster on my king side. Hmm. 
He's all in, huh? He's all in for the checkmate attack. Makes sense, I guess. I'm going to have to be all in as well. There's a lot of pawns that I have. I was hoping that I wouldn't be checkmated here. the best idea ever. If queen, I see. So if I get a queen... If I had gotten a queen, I think he had a draw, right? Maybe I could have escaped by running up, actually. Wasn't quite paying attention as well as I should have been. Should we go for that and then just win the rook? I can go here, and when he takes, I just take his rook. Yeah, we'll do it that way. That works. Okay. Well, what do we got here? Let's get one more in. Got to recover nicely from that loss, right? Got to got to get those rating pets back. Let's see if he wants to play that dragon again. Yeah, he's not interested. Wise decision. He chose poorly. He chose wisely. All good stuff. Played this one many times before. Many moons. Many moons I have had this position. Is that a thing people say? I thought they say like many moons ago, right? For many moons, taking C5 that early is a is a small mistake for those wondering. You want to build on that tension. Knight F to D7 is the sort of the typical thing to do there. Now I'm going to try to restrict counterplay in the dark squares. Okay. Going to continue to restrict, maybe. Maybe kick the knight out there. Pre-move capture. I think we play f3. If he takes, we pre move capture. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's put our knight on b6 now while we have this chance. He's worried about the a pawn, as he should be. So let's see. I want to play f4. That's what I really want. But there doesn't seem to be a lot of purpose in letting his knight in on the dark squares. Oh, well that was silly of me. He's coming in on the dark squares whether I like it or not. Try to go all in here on my queen side. Punch my C pawn through. Okay. That makes sense. 
Especially because defending it is a little awkward, huh? All right, change of plans again. Change of plans once more. Going after the dark squares. Good knight versus bad bishop potential. That's what we want here. A good knight versus bad bishop ending kind of thing. Prepare to have the B file under control. Now we shall simplify. We do like our good knight against his bad bishop. We can't take a5 anymore. It's a little disappointing. Hmm. Okay, he's going all in. Can I just go gobble? I should gobble, but I should take first, actually. And I should even take here first. Oh, wait, did I just lose a piece? Oh, that's not good. No, no. Yeah, I just saw that. I should have just taken a5. Ugh. Now I'm overwhelmed. My pieces are overloaded. Greatly disappointing. Not sure what the count is here, but can I really lose? Oh, look at that little sweet move. Bishop is pinned. <sighs> the guy just completely collapsed. Wow. That was luck. I have no shame in admitting that. Did not deserve to take that one home. I know what you guys are thinking, Danny. You can't walk away from this. This is like a, this is like a gold mine. All right, one more. This is like a fountain of youth. We want to keep. We want to milk this cow dry. Anytime you're, anytime you're getting that lucky. Anytime you're getting that lucky. Don't walk away from the table. Pretty sure a gambling addict once told me that. Pretty sure he had a song that went with it. He was like, you got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. He always hit that note just like that, like a Pearl Jam. Know when to walk away. That's how he did it. It was really weird. Know when to run. You never count your money while you're sitting at the table. There'll be time for counting when the dealing's done. This feels pretty Dora the Explorer, you know what I'm saying? This feels pretty delicioso. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never. Mm -hmm. 
when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time for counting when the dealing's done. Glad everybody could join us here today, you know. I wish everybody could be here. I wish all the all the fans could be watching this video. Oh man. Blundertown, population me, bro. Blundertown, population me, bro. Nicely. Luckily, there's a recovery town. But seriously, hopefully, give me a like, give me a share, please. Tell more people about my YouTube channel if you're into that kind of thing, right? If you're not into that kind of thing, then don't tell people about it. But either way, I wish everybody a very wonderful day. How I wish. How I wish you were here. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year. Running out for the same old grounds. Haven't found the same old thing. Wish you were here. Who's that again? Is that no, not Stone. That's Pink Floyd. How I wish, how I wish you were here. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl, year after year. Let's give check just for fun, just for tickle. Haven't found the same old things. Wish you were here. All right. Yeah, pretty much was his only choice, so don't get too excited about his exchange sec. Not sure he really had a lot of other options. What do I want to do? Knight in? What's the threat? Worried his bishop here could get nasty, actually. There's some real potential that bishop here gets nasty. Hmm. I need to be careful. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year. Seems to be sufficient. No, it's not. Where's the mate, right? Huh. No mate. No mate. At least not that I could see. Not right away. All right, well, it's been a, it's been a good ride, you know. Uh, this uh, today today you know this opponent was was helping me. He was like he was like my Toyota Yaris. All the boys want to ride my Yaris. He was like my village Yaris. I wanted to ride on the Yaris. Um, so he was my Toyota Yaris today. Everybody wanted his ride. I'm appreciative. 
um, of the uh, the rating points. Not happy with the game I dropped. Man, that was ugly. But overall, it was a good ride in Ziyaris, and I'm going to see you next time, yeah? Thank you for riding in Ziyaris.